Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to look at perimeter today. First off, we're going to talk about what perimeter is, and then we'll calculate some perimeter. So, perimeter is the distance around the outside. So, as indicated by these arrows, you would go around the outside of a shape or polygon, try and find that perimeter. All right. There are a couple of different ways to calculate perimeter. In equilateral polygons, or polygons that the each side length is congruent, you can just multiply the number of sides, n, times the length of the side, s, and that will give you the perimeter of that polygon. Let me show you an example. If this is a regular hexagon, that means all of the side lengths are the same. Also, all of the angle measurements are the same, but that doesn't really matter with this. That's what regular means. But this hexagon, we know that the side lengths are 4 centimeters. So if we are going to calculate the perimeter using this equation, we would multiply the number of sides, which is 6 for a hexagon, times the length of the side, which is 4. 6 times 4 is 24 centimeters. Therefore, it would be 24 centimeters around the outside of this figure. Now, you could also add them up, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, kind of walk your way around it. But using this equation for regular polygons or equilateral polygons is a more efficient way to do it. There's also an equation for the perimeter of rectangles. This is a pretty common equation. And you can see with this rectangle that the perimeter would have one side length of 2 from here to here but also would have a second side length that's also 2 meters over here on the left. So our width of 2, we could just multiply that times 2. And then our length of 3, you can see that this length and this one as well are also 3 meters. And so that would be our length. We could also multiply our length times 2. So 2 times 3 plus 2 times 2 will give us 6 plus 4, and our perimeter for this rectangle is 10 meters. Again, you could walk around the outside and add that to just to check. 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 more, and you'll find out that it is 10. But using this equation for rectangles is another way to kind of save a little bit of time, have one of those um, formulas kind of, you know, ready to use. For all other figures, shapes, and polygons and, and whatever, basically, this is what you need to do. All right, step number one, find the length of all of the sides. So to do that on this polygon, what we're going to do is take a look and see which side lengths we don't have. In this case, we don't have this side length here on the far left, and we don't have the length of the base. So what we're going to do is calculate those this one here is, we know from here to here is 2 inches, because that's parallel to this. And then from here to here is another 1 and a half inches. All right? So that makes this total distance 3 and a half inches, or 3.5 inches. This is 1 inch from here to here, so it would also be 1 inch from here to here. And then 3 more inches to the end, so that would be a total of 4 inches. So if they don't give you all of the side lengths, you have to find all of the side lengths, calculate those. Typically, it'll be in this type of a situation where you assume or you're told that all the angles are right angles, and you can kind of figure out the side lengths. The next way part is to pick a starting point. It doesn't matter where you pick. I pick the upper left-hand corner, maybe because I read from left to right. I don't know. But you pick a corner, and then you just start moving your way around the outside of the figure, or polygon, or shape, or whatever adding up the measurements of the side length. So in this case, I started here, and I said 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 and a half plus 4 plus 3 and a half. And I wrote down all those numbers right there. So you can see I just, the reason you have a starting point is because if you get really complicated figures or shapes, you're going to start maybe losing count of whether you counted one side length or not. And so it's good to have them written down, especially if they're similar lengths. You know, in this particular one, we don't have any repeating lengths, but if you had several one-inch segments, you might forget where you started. 
So anyway, we would add those all up for our perimeter and say our final perimeter around the outside of this polygon is 15 inches. So that's what you would use for pretty much everything other than rectangles and regular polygons. So a couple of things to remember. Perimeter is the measurement around the outside of a shape. The perimeter of an equilateral polygon can be given using this equation. The perimeter is equal to the number of sides times the length of the side. The perimeter of a rectangle is the perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And the perimeter of everything else, just make sure you know what the perimeter is and add up those side lengths.